Hello, you all beautiful people from YouTube. Uh, welcome to the channel. Welcome to Rad with Tarot. It's uh, Rad, and uh, in this whole video, we're going to look into uh, Libra Sun Moon and as well rising for the week 21st of December up until 27th of December 2020. And uh, just to let you know, guys, uh, that if you are a Facebook follower, uh, you can take a participation into the flash sale, which is exclusively for Facebook followers. Uh, that uh, reduces the price of the tarot classes I'm offering with 50%. That is for the minor arcana tarot classes and uh, the major arcana tarot class, tarot class with 35%. So if you are a Facebook follower, just uh, send me a message on the Facebook page messages. And I'm going to give you a link where you can uh, make your purchase at the flash sale. If you are not, you can find a, a link to my Facebook in the uh, into my a link to my Facebook page in the description down below. So with that being said, moving to the liberal week here, the first card we got for you guys that is going to be the judgment. That is the topic of your week, followed by the next one, which stands as the energies that are feeding and supporting this topic, and that will be the uh, five of uh, wands. Moving next, we do have the challenges that you will need to overcome throughout the week. That is the king of swords, followed by the gifts and the blessings that you do get to enjoy throughout the week. That is going to be the three of wands, followed by uh, the impression that you are going to leave into people around. But what is the people are going to see when they look at you? That is going to be the eight of swords. Furthermore, uh, we do have uh, the uh, negative aspects or rather like the obstacles throughout the week which are going to hold you back and down. That is going to be the moon card. Moving next, we do have the positive aspects of the week that are going to help you push your things through. That will be the eight of cups. And the last one we have, it is the guidance that Tarot is offering here. That will be the six of swords. So... We are having um, a For You Libra a week where, uh, for what it seems, you are going to make some kind of a detachment and that detachment is going to make you free or kind of like you are going to liberate yourself. And that simultaneously is going to be a good thing, but also it's going to be a problem. And we are going to see why uh, as the reading progresses. So with the first couple of cards here that we do have, which are the five of wands as the energy and judgment as the uh, topic of the week itself, uh, you are going to have some kind of a, a revelation, let's say it that way, some kind of a, a perception or premonition. I don't know how to say it. Well, you are going to one morning when you wake up, you are going to come up with something. You, you know, you're going to realize it's something. And uh, the thing that you are going to realize, uh, like, uh, I would say it's a wake-up call, it will be, how can I say, the perception that you do wait it for, or rather like you need it, for maybe the entirety of your life. Now, this is going to be caused by the, the havoc and the upheaval probably that you are experiencing in your life up until this point. Uh, what I'm trying to say here is that you have all the, 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 the necessary means to have your life sorted out and yet your life is rather unpredictable. And uh, throughout this week you are going to realize why that's the case. And not just only you are going to realize why that's the case, but also you, Libra, will have uh, the determination to pretty much take the matters in your hands and uh, do what it's needed in order to gain control over the life or in order to make your life very sustainable and uh, very predictable, uh, very predictable as well. Take it like that. Out of nowhere, one morning, as just everything is going to make sense. Okay? I mean, you are wobbling in between many options available and none of them makes perfect sense. But one morning you are going to come to a realization of the option available that it makes sense. Finally, it makes sense. And the last piece of the puzzle snaps into its place. So uh, what I can advise you here by looking at those couple of cards, it is that you shouldn't presume the outcome of events for... Uh, 
that even at the very last minute, something may turn itself around, which obviously it's a good thing in some cases, where you know situations that seems are to be at a failure, they could uh, become a tremendous success and vice versa as well. So uh, the challenge that you need to overcome, it's, uh, it's regarding the, the uh, uh, liberation I was talking about here. We do have the King of Swords and uh, that is a person which is a challenging person. That is someone who straight away is using you uh, because you are doing a, a very good, um, how can I say, contribution for not just only their agenda, but also for their life in general. King of Swords are type of people that are very pragmatic, very practical, if you will, and they don't concern themselves with things or people that pretty much doesn't contribute in any way at all for, for their well-being or for their agenda, you know, or for their goal. That makes them fantastic, uh, you know, bosses, fantastic leaders, fantastic uh, supervisors, and unfortunately, not very good lovers at all, or not very good parents as well. So uh, here your challenge is pretty much to realize that, to realize that uh, this, this person is tied with you, not because he loves you, not because you know he sees um, any emotional attachment to you, but pretty much it is because he has benefits. He, I'm saying he because it's a queen of, is, it, it is a king of swords, but it could be a female as well. And that person, it's pretty much seeing you only profit, only benefit. He or she is going to step for you or is going to be beside you for as long as you do your part in their life. Soon as you stop doing your part in their, in their life, they are going to pretty much dispose of you, that you are going to mean nothing to them whatsoever. And uh, it will be best if you do pretty much surpass the inevitable here and make them irrelevant before they make you irrelevant. Now, moving next, we do have the gifts and the blessings that you do get to enjoy for throughout the week, and that is going to be the three of, uh, the three of wands. So uh, as a gift and blessings, aside from this detachment, as a gift, you are going to have the pleasure to see how your expectations are coming true. So everything is going to happen according or, or your performance are going to produce results exactly the way you have expected those results to happen. Not only that, but with the three of wands, it seems that you do have a very strong backbone meaning that uh, you do have solid patterns, solid foundations, and there is no problem whatsoever to keep up forward without having the so-called support from the King of Swords, because they are supporting you, like I said, only if that doesn't cost them anything and only if you do serve your purpose in their life. And in our country, we call it a, a bare favor, a favor that backfires on you big time without you even knowing it. So uh, the realization here that comes from the judgment that you have to do something for yourself and you, you finally uh, find the, uh, what was that, how did I set it there? Uh, finally, uh, you, you finally realize what makes sense to you. That is going to make you challenge yourself, by cha but, but, but under or by challenging yourself, I mean how to be better, how to go, for bigger projects, how to uh, aim for a better people to be involved in, and so on and so forth. Generally, uh, lift the uh, the bar of your expectations and of your criteria, not just only toward the environment, but also toward yourself as well. Moving next, we do have the impression that you are going to leave into the people around, and that is going to be the eight of uh, swords here. What is that people are going to see? Uh, when they look at you and people are going to see, finally he sees it or she sees it, okay? Because the Eight of Swords here, I, I never saw it standing like it's standing right now, fully manifesting its, uh, its parable. If the truth makes you free, then what the denial of it makes you, right? So people see that you are finally not denying the truth, recognizing that this person here, King of Swords, you do not need that person anymore. You, you never needed that person. It's just 
your mind or, or that person itself twisted and bent truth so they can pretty much catch you in their nets because that's what king of swords are good at bending and twisting truths politicians there we go moving next we do have the uh the obstacles which are going to hold you back and down and that is the moon card as the obstacle so moon card the only obstacle here that you are gonna face is the lack of predictability in terms of what the future holds okay because you probably felt very certain and secured with the king of swords type of an individual they always knew what to do they always knew what to say they always knew how to act in certain situations and now since you liberated yourself you don't know you think that you do not know what you are supposed to do you may think that you don't know what is coming up next but you do okay and uh, that being said uh, you should try to restrain yourself from any fantasies and any uh, emotional how can I say emotionally provoked presumptions that you may have for the future in terms of either your career or in terms of either your relationship and uh, pretty much try to be ob objective and grounded and you're going to see that whatever circumstances you are neglecting or, over or overlooking uh, they are going to be shed into the light again so uh, moving next we do have the positive aspects that are gonna help you push your things forward that is the eight of cups and this is the acceptance of that the past is in the past okay uh, yeah you are no longer being able to uh, use the resources that this person gave you or uh, it kind of like the had had you on a disposal or gave it to your disposal all right but it is what it is and having your freedom is worth way more than the resources you had at your disposal that are provided by the king of swords and by accepting that the situation yeah while not as fortunate as before you have to pretty much start from the rock bottom if you are to restart certain aspects of your life and climb upwards and that is the positive aspect you are going to realize that that is the worst that you are going to go through and it is not even that bad considering that you are finally free and uh, you are going to focus only on the great perspectives that are waiting you from now on moving forward in that aspect of your life which they are you just have to keep going uh, and the last one that we do have which is the guidance the tarot is offering to you libra we do have the six of swords here and guidance wise this is uh, very philosophical saying that every change it's uh, it's difficult every change is accompanied with the fear of the unknown moving forward but you want something for yourself right you do want to find yourself somewhere a, a year from now a couple of years from now tell me that is only the, the wishful thinking enough to get you there I I argue not you got to do something about it and the liberation that you are that you do have the chance to make throughout this week December 21st to December 27th is the most important step that you need to do in order to get to that point you want to you want to see yourself in the distant future and uh, this card as a guidance says that yes it's a threshold yes it may be difficult even fearful at some points but the only thing that is going to make once you traverse that threshold is to improve your circumstances so that being said libra this was your a, a weekly general tarot reading guys for december um, 21st to december 27 2020 hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and uh, we shall see each other next time until then bye